you presented a very very interesting talk on balloon mitral valvotomy so obviously this has been done for mitral stenosis so has the epidemiology of mitral stenosis changed over the past 2 to 3 decades see in india the rheumatic heart disease is not de decreasing correct sir and there is no any evidence of that mitral stenosis decrease but because of this newer modality investing in modality we are getting more and more patient of mitral stenosis now that we have a definite treatment non surgical treatment of mitral stenosis which we can do in our cath lab see this is first mitral valve balloon dilatation or bmv was done in our ams first time yeah. ams and jeep simultaneously when the doctor lock came to the institute one my work teacher dr savitri srivas that did then and subsequently we are doing regularly we have lot of maximum experience in balloon mitral balloon valve to pin uh, ams itself one thing is i want to emphasize that during uh, initial uh, this is years we have very little bit of conscious to take care of and there should not be any complication but subsequently when there is advancement of software and hardware and everything so what we are doing there is complication that is decreased tremendously okay. because of our experience as well as uh, uh, this is uh, development in the hardware so previously there is chances of uh, this is mitral regurgitation were quite high and the tamponade but subsequently depending on the uh, person's experience and new hardware that incidence gradually decreased now even beginners are doing everywhere this mitral stenosis is quite common what are the key things uh, the doctor should keep in mind while approaching a patient basically this is only for beginners when they should not be in hurry they okay. should stop where they have to stop okay so to prevent the complication especially once they don't get proper site for atrial septum puncture they should stop and rethink over it so this is the only way by which we can prevent the tamponade sometimes it may be very uh, deadly complication patient may die because okay. of tamponade but once they know how, where they have to stop it and if they take the other uh, senior so advice and they proceed this complication can be decreased is there any subset of patients in which we should avoid getting into this procedure right now there is little bit of uh, there is few subset of patient in which you cannot do it in majority of patient of mitral stenosis you can dilate mitral valve with uh, this balloon only absolute contraindication that when mitral stenosis associated with severe mitral regurgitation one thing okay. that is absolute contraindication second thing is the mitral stenosis associated with large left atrial clot these are the two absolute content otherwise if previously when the left atrial appendix clot is there we usually avoid it because we don't have much experience now because of this experience everything we can avoid this uh, left atrial appendix and we can do mitral balloon dilated even in the presence of okay, this is left atrial appendix clot is there any particular age which is an appropriate age or it could be done at as soon as it is presented or diagnosed usually when wall is suitable at any age it can be done this eldest patient we did was 85 years that is non calcific and it is surprised to us but the patient is absolutely all right after that one. so what will be your two key messages to the junior young cardiologist who want to approach the patient with the this procedure there is only two major complication of uh, bmb is that uh, avoidance of the tamponade and avoidance of severe acute mitral regurgitation both are sometimes usually operator dependent so okay. if operator little will take care they can decrease the incidence of this pericardial tamponade as well as mitral regurgitation so probably more expertise and more, more care more expertise and some little bit of conscious and should not be in hurry should not have there is usually there is a uh, uh or confidence okay. after doing little bit of case they they have to pass that or confidence curve correct then there will be no confidence thank you sir thanks a lot for joining and sharing your views okay. with us thank you sir changed over the past 2 to 3 decades see in india the rheumatic heart disease is not de decreasing correct sir and there is no any evidence of that mitral stenosis 